you guys may be familiar with Jordan Peele and then even if you haven't heard of him you might have watched one of his works well yeah you might have watched one of his works which was a really good hit movie Gets Out and I can tell you right now that movie is freaking awesome easy 5 out of 5 that was a great movie and so it was it was both one out with critics and audiences so um, a lot of hype was riding around his new film which was about to come out us and um, I watched it and now I get to talk to you guys about what I thought about it um, so if you guys don't know us it's basically about this family and then, and then all their evil doppelgangers start showing up and that, that was all that was shown in the trailer and I can't tell you guys anything else because there's a lot of freaking crap that extends from that but yeah that's basically what the movie is about and it's a pretty unique premise I like Jordan Peele and how unique he can pull off all of his movies and yeah so the first thing we're going to talk about it is the performances so literally every single actor in this movie has a good performance everyone does their jobs right when they're supposed to be scared they look scared when they're supposed to look sad they look sad when they're supposed to look happy they look happy everyone does a great job uh, whenever they're acting Alright, and now for the story and its complexity. So, it's not a really complicated movie to understand, but wow. So, so, okay, so the trailer really misleads everyone to thinking that it's just a simple home invasion thriller movie of doppelgangers coming to kill p uh, the family. But it, this movie is so much more than that. Like, it has so much crap going on in the movie it's honestly insane like it's it's crazy um i'll get into that in spoilers and so yeah and now the, uh, whether the film was scary or not so i wouldn't necessarily say this film was scary but there are a few scenes in it that are a little creepy there are a few scenes that um did creep me out a little, but the entire movie wasn't scary. It's was actually more fun to watch than it was scary. Um, so yeah, now time for a, a tiny flaw in the movie, which is the comedic timing. So during some of the horror scenes, there are like some comedic bits, and while they do come out of nowhere, I don't think they are really too distracting or they ruin the horror. I think they're just there, and I'm just like, oh, hey, that was, that was kind of funny. Alright, but anyways, I'm about to go into spoiler territory, so skip to this timestamp that's on the screen right now to avoid spoilers. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, so basically, um, the mom in the film, uh, was basically saying how she was, uh, okay, so the prologue of the movie is basically the mom has a kid, then she walks into this hall of mirrors, and then does a, a doppelganger of her, and then it just cuts. And so basically, we see the mom has a grown up, and she's like, I've, I met this one girl who looked exactly like me, I've been feeling she would come back ever since. And then conveniently after she says that, the family shows up. So after a whole bunch of events, uh, we figure out that in that park, that during that uh, hard mirror scene, it turns out that the doppelganger knocked the regular girl unconscious and actually switched places with her. So the mother that we saw on the screen was actually the doppelganger that showed up at the Hall of Mirrors, and the evil mother was actually the original girl. And so a lot of people didn't really like this plot twist because it came out of nowhere and there was really nothing built upon that, and it just was shoved up at the end. But I didn't think it was necessarily harmless. I thought it was just, oh, okay, that's that's there that, all right um that's kind of cool um <laughs> but yeah okay everyone so now it's time for my final thoughts of the movie and i thought the movie um it was pretty good um i, I thought i thought it was pretty good i thought everything about the movie was good it does what it, it tends to do um pretty right all the performances are great it's a pretty good narrative um, so yeah, I would recommend this people, uh, I would recommend this movie, <laughs> recommend these people, I would recommend this movie to people who want to see a fun horror movie with likable characters with an overall good narrative with the movie. And so yeah, and I will give this movie a 4 out of 5. So yeah everyone, I hope you guys um, enjoyed this review, I am looking forward to Jordan Peele's next work, and yeah everyone, peace.